Hello my friends, this is Dwight from Voice Glory 700 coming back at you with another video. As everyone knows, because they won't let us forget, we have now entered the second wave of COVID-19, the pandemic that just keeps on taking and taking and taking and we keep on giving and giving and giving until we have nothing left. So now there's further restrictions, at least in the province of Ontario, for which I reside, that gatherings of numbers have been restricted once again because there's been case numbers, evidently, going through the roof. These numbers, none of us knows where they're coming from, nor can we verify these numbers other than what the authorities tell us. So these case numbers are allegedly going through the roof, which is supposed to heighten our fear and intrepidation of what the future holds, right? Never mind that they're not dealing with deaths anymore because the death number is so low that people, if they would just simply apply their God-given senses, would realize that none of this makes sense. When you have a mortality rate for a virus, which is a fraction of less than 1%, why is there lockdowns? Why are there needs for restrictions on the population? There's no need for any such thing when you take, a, take into consideration um, the variety of deaths or the various deaths that people die from on an annual basis. There are numbers that are far higher in percentage, far higher uh, than what we are experiencing with this so-called pandemic. So anyways, the restrictions have come into play and with the restrictions they've also decided that they're going to have hefty fines for people who do not comply and do, who do not obey the directives and the instructions of mother and father government. And our governments are not our friends in my opinion. They are our enemies because they're given allegiance to those that are actually running the system. Think about it for a moment. When you have over 193 countries around the world all following in line at the same beat of the drum, you know something's off. Something is not right. This CV-19 virus, it's not killing anybody. It's the weakest virus probably on the planet that we've ever encountered because it's not taking lives at a rate that would justify us being in a pandemic. It simply doesn't. There's so much evidence and information available online. If the masses would actually take the time to investigate these things, but we've been conditioned not to do that. We've been conditioned to acquiesce to submit, to surrender, to listen to those in authority of us because we give them that authority and because they are technocrats or so-called experts in their respective fields, we just put our ability to think and reason and, and to apply common sense on the back burner of our minds and we just say, well, the experts know best, the technocrats know best and of course they have our very our interest at heart. So they're looking out for us more than we're looking out for ourselves. So we don't need to think. We just simply need to comply. And that's exactly where they want us to be. They want us not to think. They simply want us to comply, to surrender, to submit to them. And where it's standing right now, as we continue to go further and further into this scamdemic, uh, that they call uh, a crisis, we're going to lose more and more freedoms, really. Um, that's really what it's coming down to. And people, from what I'm gathering, when I go out into the community, they seem to all be okay about it because we're trying to flatten the curve, as it were. We're attempting to not allow, as it were, uh, a second Spanish flu to sweep the land. And of course this is nothing like it, not even remotely. But because we've been flooded with information constantly 
and relentlessly and unceasingly and without end 24-7. And if all you're doing is listening to the radio or the TV or you're online and you're basically going along with the propaganda machine, you're going to be overwhelmed with that information to the point that you're simply going to believe what you've been told because you've been told it so often. It's like that old expression. If you tell a lie long enough, the lie becomes the truth. And so it is in our time and age where most people or most people on this earth actually believe what they're being told because they've never taken the time to investigate these things for themselves. And so when I go out into the community on my job, because my job is a social, sorry, is a public sector job, I tend to interact with the community and I'm literally out in the community so I get to witness and observe the actions and behavior of people within the community. And they are acquiescing. They're doing exactly as they are told. I suspect there might be a very small percentage of that population that actually questions, at least in their mind, if this is legitimate or not, but when they go out into the community, you will see them masked up. They have that mask covering their nose, their mouth, and under their chin. Some of them cheat, without a doubt. They'll have the mask below their nose, or they'll, they'll have the mask completely <laughs> attached to their chin. But what I'm getting at is that people in our society are going to fall into the New World Economic Order, which will encompass the entire Earth and you and I will become slaves under that system, especially once they get rid of cash and replace physical cash with digital currency, then we're all screwed. There's no doubt about it. But all of what I'm saying is also very prophetic. Uh, it's very prophetic in the sense that this has been foretold many thousands, year, many thousands of years ago as it relates to the end time prior to the return of Christ. These events are gonna happen. We cannot stop it. And one of the main reasons it's going to happen is, you know, not to be rude, but people are just simply stupid. They, they really are. They're stupid in the sense that they're not willing to take the time to investigate something like CV-19 that is impacting our lives wherever we go. You would think, especially at the beginning of this so-called pandemic, when they were forcing us to stay at home and people were unemployed for a period of time, you had all this time on your hand, you would think that you would take the time to investigate the very thing that is disrupting life as normal. But most people haven't. They've just simply trusted those that are in authority, those that are in the medical health industry. And these people have been trained by those that actually run the system. So they're basically regurgitating and rephrasing or reapplying the very thing that they've been instructed to by the system for which we're all under. So these individuals, uh, these technocrats, these experts in their respective fields, they're simply going by what they've been indoctrinated to believe as being true on the very system from which they came. And that is a big loss to all of us. I mean, it's absolutely insane. I think about this all the time. And each and every day that I wake up, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Every single day, it's just an absolute nightmare. Now they're coming up with these further restrictions which will limit our freedoms as citizens in our respective countries on a daily basis. Like I said earlier in this video, in Ontario they place further restrictions on gatherings in your home or out publicly and that there's going to be fines for people that do not obey, that do not comply uh, from anywhere from, uh, what is it, I think $750 for Canadians that are let's say invited to a house gathering or some kind of organized event and there's more people there than should be and I think it's no more than 25 or 50 people, whatever the numbers are, they're ridiculous. And so if you're attending one of those events and that number of people and you're over that particular number, you're going to be fined $750 and those that are organizing the event are going to be fined anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000. Now that's how they're going to get you, right? They're going to basically get you in your, 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 what is it, your wallet, your pocket, right? You know, I mean, no one wants to pay a fine and they're going to find, I guess, find a means or a way to make sure that they uh, extract that money out of you. So that's a real deterrent for a lot of people right now who are under a lot of financial and economic strife. They can't afford that. 
So it's a way of intimidation and control. It's pure BS. The government, what they're doing right now, whether it be in Canada, in America, in the United Kingdom, in France, in Italy, in Germany, in Zimbabwe, anywhere, they do not have the right, I'm talking in a free society, in a so-called democratic society, they don't have the right to dictate to the people, this is how things are going to be. The government answers to the people, not the people to the government. But as it stands, we're living in uh, some type of socialist, communist, totalitarian country where whatever they dictate is the norm, hence the term, the new normal. These things are going to continue as they are. There's no doubt about it in my mind because I believe in prophecy, I believe in the Word of God, and according to the Word of God, there's going to come a system, and I believe it's the New World Economic Order or the System of the Beast that's being implemented as we speak. All of these events that we're experiencing, whether it be CV-19, whether it be the riots in the States, whether it be looting, whether it be violence or lawlessness that may abound in whatever corner of the earth that you may be from, all of these events are, they're all connected, they're all interconnected. Those that are running this system who want to implement the New World Economic Order or the Great Reset, they want all this chaos and mayhem to, to come to the forefront because like the old expression goes, it, there's order out of chaos. So they create the chaos so that they, they can bring an order. And most people are going to comply because they don't want to live in a world where a lack of civility is the norm. None of us wants that, obviously. And so they're going to they're going to play us like a fiddle, like the old expression goes. And most everyone is going to fall right into play, right into the lap of the New World Economic Order, the Great Reset. And I know it's coming. It's, it's, not, it's not not going to happen. Whether it happens in three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, it's going to happen because people are going to acquiesce. And because people don't know the Word of God, because people don't know what the future uh what the future holds, they're simply going to comply and fall for whatever they've been instructed or told. So in, in any event, what I'm saying is, as, a, as an individual, because we're individuals first before we're part of any group, take the time, in my opinion, to know the Word of God. Yes, I'm, I'm a Christian, or at least I'm, by His grace I believe I am. And I believe it's so important that I believe we're living in the final days or the end of times, according to the Bible, where the conditions of the world are going to become so deplorable that people are going to be beyond despair. Especially in our Western society where we've been so accustomed and so used to freedom. We've had the greatest liberty in our Western culture than any other nation's on the planet. That's why so many people from other parts of the world where they don't have this freedom gravitate towards America and Canada and the UK and France, predominantly speaking, European lands, I have to say, it because it's true. Because for the most part, the lands that they're coming from don't have that element of freedom and opportunity uh, to advance yourself and to advance your quality of life like, like there is in the Western nations. So I would encourage individuals, if you have a Bible, crack it open. If you've never cracked it open, read the New Testament and per adventure, if God grants you repentance and opens up your heart and opens up your, your eyes and your ears, you'll realize that all that I've said is absolutely true because it's coming to pass. And there are dark days ahead, very, very dark days ahead. And I know a lot of people are afraid, and that's what they're playing on as well as our fear. They want people to be fearful because when we're fearful, we will look to them for our safety and security. And in so looking for our own safety and security, we will give up the very thing that makes us human, which is our freedom. Our freedom to think, our freedom to disagree, our freedom to laugh, our freedom to travel, our freedom to be ourselves. So anyways, this is Dwight from Forest Glory to share my thoughts with you 
regarding CV-19, the second wave. And keep in mind as well that they will have as many waves as necessary to have us cowering and growling, groveling at our knees. They absolutely will. So by that time, they'll definitely have the vaccine, which I believe they already have. This is all just a, a show, uh, just to get people exactly where they want us to be. So when they introduce this vaccine by Dr. Bill Gates, which apparently has, uh, what, what is it, M mRNA, uh, some kind of technological advanced vaccine that will all be primed and ready to take it. And this particular experimental vaccine is supposed to somehow combine with our DNA. I mean, talk about a Frankenstein scenario. That is incredibly frightening. But when it's all said and done, most of the inhabitants of this earth will succumb. They will surrender to that system because in the end they would rather, or they will, worship the system rather than their creator. Anyways, this is Dwight from Forest Glory 700.